I'm sure Dallas Cowboys fans are going to love this one. I can't wait to read the comments on this video. So the Dallas Cowboys hung 41 points on the San Francisco 49ers in their latest win. And what was significant about that is they did it without Dak Prescott and they did it without Zeke Elliott. That's a lot of points to score without your starting quarterback and without your starting running back. And Dallas isn't out of it yet. You know, if Alex Smith doesn't come back for Washington, Dallas could go 2-0 and find a way to steal this division. But I think we have to actually look ahead to some, to some of the decisions that this team has to make in the offseason. You know, do they resign Dak Prescott? And I know it'll probably take, you know, $35 million a year for a four-year contract to resign Dak Prescott, or the Dallas Cowboys could re-sign Andy Dalton for a four-year $60 million contract, $15 million a year, and then take that $80 million that they saved and invest it in the defense. Now, if you think going with Dak Prescott is better than going with Andy Dalton and $80 million in cap, in cap space, you're wrong. I know Dak Prescott has been great for this team. I know they would have won the division if he was healthy. But, you know, Andy Dalton in the $80 million is a much better choice for this team. And before you get mad, ask yourself this. What would Bill Belichick do? I know exactly what Bill Belichick would do. He would do the thing that helped him win six Super Bowls. He would take the cap space. He would turn the page on Prescott and Elliott. And then he would take that money and find some young players to sign, guys that would make the team faster and guys that would help his money go further. You know, he would find a $3 million player, a $5 million player. And, you know, these would be players that are kind of flying under the radar, but guys that Belichick knows can play. Remember, you know, Rob Gronkowski and the Patriots kind of had a fallout during his contract uh, negotiations because Gronkowski said, you can't get anything out of those guys. So we know what Belichick would do. And, you know, the Dallas Cowboys had the best sports brand in the entire world for any sport. They're the highest valued franchise in sports. But at this point, you know, do they want to be the number one sports brand in the world or do they want to get back to winning Super Bowls? If they want to win some Super Bowls, they have some tough decisions to make this offseason. I'm John Kuzma. Check out endzoneblog.com.